Jesus, Jesus. You are the king, yeah. You are the king. You've given us authority. We're seated with you in heavenly places. You've given us your authority, delegated authority in this city. So we stand in the gap for this city even now. Because we know that the enemy has an expectation and a hope. You've given us a future and a hope, but the enemy has expectations for the souls in this city. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But you came, Jesus, to give us life in abundance to the full until it overflows. So we speak to the demonic powers in this city. And we say back up and back off in the name of Jesus. We decree in the name of Jesus that our God reigns in this city. We decree in the name of Jesus that he is the one who holds the keys. And yet he's given us the keys on earth. We can bind on earth whatever is bound in heaven, loose on earth whatever is loosed in heaven. So Father, we loose your angels, your ministering angels in this city. Go to work, go to work, go to work against the principalities and powers over this territory, God. We speak life into this city. We decree souls saved, bodies healed. We decree that Jesus is the Lord. He is the king in this city. And we terminate every demonic plan for every person in this city. We say be aborted. Be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Loose the souls that are in your grip. Loose them. Loose them. We break the blinders off the minds of the people in the city who do not know you. Satan has erected blinders on their eyes and we say no. Let my people go, says the Lord. For I died for them, says the Lord. My son shed his blood on a cross for the lost souls in this city, says the Lord. So stand in the gap for them as if it was your very own self. Stand in the gap for them as if it was the one who you love the most that is dying, going to hell, potentially at any moment, says the Lord. For they do not know when they will breathe their last. I breathe the breath of life into them, says the Lord. But I, myself, will watch over them as you pray. The ones who have gone astray, lift them up continually, says the Lord. Lift them up continually, says the Lord. Lift them up. Stand for the souls in your city. For I want to bring a great harvest out of South Florida. I want to see a great awakening, a mighty revival, a healing movement that makes headlines around the world. I want to show myself strong, but I need you to do your part. Your part is to pray. And I will move. Father, would you help us? I feel the resistance to this prayer. I feel the hordes of hell aligning against this prayer. I feel spirits that are working to distract those who are listening from agreeing with this prayer. And we bind that in Jesus' name. No longer will we tolerate the works of darkness in this region. No longer will we sit by and watch as babies are aborted, as women are accosted. Oh, Jesus. No longer will we stand by and just worry about ourselves and our family, but we will look to this city and be prayer solutionists. We will wait upon you for the strategies for this territory. God, would you give us strategies for this territory? Would you help us hear the cry of our city? Would you help us understand how to pray? Because we don't know how to pray as we are. We know you want to bring a mass harvest. We know you want to bring mass deliverance. We know you want to bring mass healing. We know you want to do something special in this region. It's been prophesied and prophesied and prophesied and prophesied. But we've not yet seen it, God. We've not even seen the first fruits, God. So would you help us tonight? Give us wisdom on how to pray for this city, for this region. You call Florida the forerunner state but we're not running ahead 
We're lacking behind in so many ways, Lord. We want to see revival. We want to see a great awakening. We want to see a move of God in this city, God. So would you help us to be united? Because where there is unity, you command a blessing. I see that, Lord. Oh, and the Lord says there's strife in my church in this region. There is unforgiveness in my church in this region, says the Lord, and my church needs to be healed before the land can be healed, says the Lord. So begin to cry out for the leaders in this territory, my spiritual leaders, to come together and pray together and war together and worship together, says the Lord. For too many are seeking to build their own thing in their own kingdom instead of my kingdom, says the Lord. And I am about to sit some down who have a spirit of ambition that is ungodly, that is not after my heart. I am about to close some churches in this region that have been warned over and over and over again I'm writing Ichabod over them even now says the Lord because they did not respect my glory they did not respect my spirit they did not make room for me they're only about their own agenda says the Lord so pray without ceasing for the spiritual readers leaders in this region says the Lord well, I want to raise up those who have pure hearts who are hungry for my spirit I will not promote the blind who lead the blind I will not promote the hirelings I will Will not promote those ones who have their own agenda, but I am promoting those ones in this hour who carry a new wineskin, who carry a heart for the lost, who carry a heart for my spirit and to see bodies healed, who carry a heart for my agenda, who will lay down their way for my way, says the Lord. I am promoting those spiritual leaders in this city and in this region who have an understanding of my ways, says the Lord, and will, who, do, will, who will do things my way, says the Lord, because the ways of man do not produce eternal fruit says God so stand in the gap because revival depends on unity says the Lord the awakening I want to bring depends on the unity of the leaders says the Lord we don't need them all says God but we need the remnant to rise up says the Lord Jesus would you help us today we repent for being disunified we repent for the schisms we repent for the strife we repent for being about our business instead of being about your business God we repent for doing things in our own strength we repent for not making room for your spirit to move we repent for doing things Lord against what you've told us to do Lord give us the blueprint God like you gave David give us the blueprint for the temple that you want to build in this city the blueprint the pattern God for the church you want to build in this region and unify us God help us Lord to lay down our way our will and help us to pick up your will to war for your will to fight for your will to pray for your will Lord let your kingdom come and your will be done in South Florida 